Hi there, my name is Sam, and uh, I got something a little bit different. I'm going to try to make this an all-in-one sort of video, um, a little project. Uh, so, a couple of things. One, I decided not to use my little face cam thing. I feel like it wasn't necessary for this. Um, number two, yes, my desktop is always this neat, and I definitely did not just scramble to organize it. Um, like a few minutes before recording and um, no my background is not Tony and Manny from the uh, hit 1983 movie Scarface but yes this is a Seinfeld um, mp3 that I did find while organizing my desktop um, anyway <laughs> um, so I have been getting into the world of doing like uh, render stuff in blender blender render and um i would like to share some of that now i uh disclaimer i am a noob who uh at the whole thing i I'm definitely very open to constructive criticism and advice for uh what i'm doing i highly suggest if you're interested in really learning how to do any of this that uh, there's a ton of youtube resources out there that I have been um, looking at a lot myself and I really like being able to watch just even just basic videos of people doing it where I can just see different ways that they approach things uh, which has been really helpful maybe that will be this video would be helpful in that way I don't know um, I have I found a I'm gonna share this pose pack that I found so this is cool so these are poses for the Sims 4 that's I don't recall if I made that clear but I um, and mainly using the Sim 4 Sims for this, which I think like I mentioned in another video, I've kind of been having the most fun. I reinstalled the Sims 4 and the most fun I've been having is in just like making Sims. And then since I started to learn how to do this, that's really all I ever do in the game <laughs> is just make Sims and then export them and throw them in Blender and make cool stuff with them. But so um, I discovered this cool pose set I have um, gone into um, the Sims Studio here and exported a few different poses. I'm going to try a few. Um, and then I actually, I went into um, the Sims 4 earlier and have made a, um, a Sims, I had made a Sims 4 version of our Helen Satellite, our model from our Sims 2 art. And um, I'm really excited. Her, her style, I'm going to um, I have yet to rip her from the game <laughs> yet. Uh, I'm going to select a save. I think this is the right one. So she kind of has taken on a little bit different style. We'll see her in a second here if I can find her. There she is. I kind of gave her an interesting 70s-esque inspired style. So this is her. So I gave her a cow, cow print um, shirt because we, she's going to be posing with a cow plant. I did not mean to directly uh, zoom into the, the breast zone. Um, I love these pants. I'm obsessed with these pants. I've used them a little bit too much. I used them on a couple of different Sims that I've been doing models with so far. But anyway, Miss Helen Satellite here, she's got a nice shag and a little cow print. Um, we're gonna save her as this, this thing, D-A-E. She's going to be thrown in. Now I have Blender already open also. I'm going to exit out of that because I don't think I need it anymore. Okay, so here we are in Blender. And um, I this is an experiment. I found, I managed to find a, um, somebody had like recolored the cow plant, made like cow plant recolors or whatever, but I was able to like extract the like mesh from it and stuff and like use it to do this. So we have a cow plant here in Blender. Unfortunately, he's kind of unanimated. His tail is just like a straight little rod, but I don't think it will really matter. I think we probably will do the upper part of him here. Let's import her. Cow plant. Open. Hey, there she is. Ooh, what's going on with her chest? Oh no. Something wrong? What is that? Um, well, let me finish setting her up. I gotta finish doing like maybe it has to do with the stuff. I have to do a thing. It's a process. It's a whole process that I think I have mostly memorized.
Okay, so I have done all the things I'm supposed to do and her chest still looks really weird. I wonder if it has to do with like the hair mesh or something? I didn't notice it in... Um, what if I move her around a little? I think it's like a lighting thing. Yeah, oh, it's a lighting thing. Okay, that's not bad. So, let's see if we can get Miss Helen here to pose with our cow plant. We might need to move our cow plant around. I kind of, I think I'm going to spin him a little. See, if, oh, sir, sir, I'm afraid, sir, I'm afraid I need you to turn a little. I don't know. We're going to, oh, sir. Okay, there we go. Let's get Miss Helen all rigged up here. All like posing and stuff. I think her size is okay. They look, looks like a good size. That was the other issue. Maybe she's too big or he's too small. We'll see. We'll see how the pose fits. I think he looks like he's actually a little too small, Mr. Cowplant. I can make him a little bit bigger. If I do the scale, that seems a little better. I love the cow plants. I think they're so cool. <laughs> um, let's see. Actually, you know what? I need to go into animation. Okay, we're gonna try to append a pose here. Um, we're gonna add that one. The one thing that I'm not very good at yet with um, doing this is swapping Sims between poses. What I've done just now was saved a copy of like this so that I can just revert back to it if I need to. But let's see. There we go. Finally! Okay, I had I had selected the wrong thing. This is a mess. I made a mess of things. Let's see, so this is a cute little sitting pose we got going on here. I need to select all of Helen here. Make sure things get a little scary if you only select part of them. There we go. Let's see. I think that's pretty good. Um, I'd like to play around with the lighting a little bit. That's my favorite part, is the lighting. I don't think we need something really dramatic or crazy. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do as far as lighting goes what kind of lights would look good i'm kind of thinking about how um i might do a more basic light oh i like that yellow I like what that does um let's put this one kind of behind a little bit crank it way up yeah she's gonna have a little bit of a side light going on and that'll be kind of nice i think because let's see, yellow, I could do like a blue. That would be sort of a contrary to this yellow light, technically. Ooh, I like that. That's interesting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn down the, um, there we go. See, if I turn down the background, ooh, that's interesting. Um, turn it up a little bit. That's going to make things a little bit more dramatic. You know, I might go ahead and make the my um, background stuff I'm gonna make these maybe like a white instead of a green I think they probably cast a little bit of light onto everything here if I can find the right gosh darn settings here we go oh, it just kind of blends in with the background huh just kind of does that's okay so what I'm gonna I can do over here is I can put the 3d viewport we're gonna turn on the, the camera mode and we're going to be able to look at this little thing here is our camera. This square with this thing is the camera that's eventually going to create a render for us. And so I can kind of play around and I can be constantly sort of viewing our little preview over here. And I'm thinking we'll probably not get a ton of the... Well, I kind of like that. Let's come out a little bit. And then let's go down a little bit. Bring her... There we go. A little more... Oops. I'm putting I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Oh, that's really cute. Is that's I like that a lot. So if I go to render, render image, there we go. We get like a preview of what the final image would look like. Now it's grainy for some reason when I zoom in a little. I don't know exactly why. Um, so I think I'm gonna I would like to try maybe a different um 
toes. Although I might take a couple more pictures of this. This is kind of fun. And I like the angle. Look at the dramatic angle. Oh my god. Look at that dramatic angle. What is queen? Image. Save a copy. Please. Sitting. Two. Sitting two. Oh wow, look at that. I made it work. I'm surprised with myself. Look at her. She's hugging the cow. This is wholesome. Let me get out of this mode. I can move her a little. Actually, the replacement wasn't too off. The cow looks a little dead inside. Oops, what am I doing? Look that. Oh, that's cute. Oh, she's like way off the ground. Okay, so Mr. Cow might be a little bit too big. I mean, it doesn't really matter if we don't really take... Well, we might want to take her whole picture. We gotta get her whole outfit in the picture. Not really. We don't actually have to because the sitting one kind of did anyway. There we go. I kind of shrunk her down to his size a little bit better. Yeah, that looks like her hands are like right on him. She might be a little squished into his his face. For some reason I kind of like that this weird little tilted angle. It's interesting. Let me get her whole scene in here. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that. That's kind of fun. Oh, look at that one. Uh, there we go. <laughs> this one I think could be kind of fun. It actually seems like she's in a pretty good spot. I think I've got her kind of centered well enough. I think she's still floating above the ground. I think Mr. Cow needs to maybe be a tiny bit smaller even. Oh, oh no, not that small. There we go. That looks like she's kind of leaning. I think I'd like her... Oh no. Oh my. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> nope. Darling. That, name was... That, was, that was some Sims 3 aged up shit. I don't know what happened. Okay. Oh, <gasps> That's really cute. I want the cow moved a little. I want him like tilted. Oh, Mr. Cow like coming in this way. I think that's fun. That one looks really cute in this. I love this. This is great. Um, oops. Let's see. We are going to do this. Let's see if we can get a couple of nice shots of this. And I think this will be it. Oh my. I only f I find that the camera can be a little weird and wonky to try to get to the way you want. Especially once you've been screwing around with it a lot. You end up screwing it all up in a lot of different ways here. Oh, I kind of like this funky angle. <laughs> what if I tilted him down a little? Actually, I probably should say her, because it's like got an udder, so... Oops, I did not mean to squish the cow. I would like to get more of, like, the udder and everything. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. That's not bad. That's kind of fun. That's cute. Um, with that, I think I'm happy with just these few basic shots. I'm going to, um, mess around in Photoshop with them and see how I feel. So thanks for watching the, um, next part. By the time I upload this part, the next part will already have been recorded. Um, I'm going to try to keep them in a quicker succession since I think that was the issue with my last art series was that I had too much time between parts and kind of lost inspiration for it. Also, one last thing. In this video, I did end up um, realizing I had had some kind of setting in my blender. Um, that sounds so weird. <laughs> in my blender. Um, but I, I had a setting that was saving the pictures at a lot smaller format than I wanted to. Um, again, I'm still learning the program. Um, but I, I figured out how to make it bigger and I actually went in... Um, I'm recording this right now, Thursday morning, this little part and um last night wednesday night i went in and uh, retook the pictures most of the time i had kind of just saved everything right as is um so i was able to just recreate all of our angles and everything um and so i have um a larger format to use uh in the edited part which will be part two all right thanks for watching bye Ta -da!